Hi Virgo, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Virgo, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Virgo. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Pentacles, and this is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. So this is an energy of someone who is stable, someone who's financially abundant, secure, and a mature person here. So there's something here about someone who is, um, it's like they, they are quite family oriented. They are um, the kind of person who is partner material. Um, they're grounded, they're practical, and they are into long-term commitments. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, so we have the devil in the reverse, and this is Capricorn energy, the temperance, Sagittarius energy, and the eight of swords in the reverse, air energy. So there is definitely an energy of releasing a connection or an attachment to someone who um, may not be healthy. The connection was unhealthy in some way with the devil card being there. And you may have felt trapped in that connection. There could have been a lot of... Um, passion, um, lust, there could have even been materialism, but it's um, a connection that's founded on things of the flesh, ego, um, ego kind of based attachments, and there could be codependency there and control. And we have the Eight of Swords, which also shows an energy of feeling trapped, feeling stuck, feeling bound to something. And this is all um, because of fear or mental anguish. And it's in the reverse, which does show that you are freeing yourself from something here. Yeah? some sort of unhealthy attachments, you are definitely getting some sort of uh, wake up call regarding that. It's like you are standing in your power and you're embodying more of this temperance energy, um, a more centered, grounded energy, um, an energy of healing as well, um, an energy of balance. And it does look like you are moving towards an, a connection that is going to be quite um, contrasting to this former attachment. Um, there is this energy here of someone coming in someone who's mature someone who's stable someone who is um grounded you know there's just this energy of someone who's who's quite different from the past connection um, and this is someone who is going to be willing to compromise and this is a divine connection that's coming towards you um, there is something karmic about the last relationship or the last attachment that you are freeing yourself from. Um, but there is something divine that's coming in. So let's clarify these cards, Virgo. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the world card, and this is big sign energy, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio energy. So this is an energy of endings again. So something is coming to an end, something, some sort of cycle or phase in your love life is wrapping up. Um, there is this energy of um, you having, it's like you're, you've completed a karmic contract or you've learned some sort of lesson and now you can move forward. It's like um, an energy of something new is coming in and you will, with the, with the world card, it's a successful completion. You, it's the energy of karmic rewards. Um, you, you've set yourself free in some way and there's a new, new energy can come in now. Okay, so let's see. We have the three of pentacles, earth energy, 
the Knight of Wands, Fire Energy, and the High Priestess, Pisces Energy. So there is, again, that energy from with the High Priestess here and the Temperance. Something quite spiritual is coming your way, a connection that is higher and transcends the 3D. It, it's very different to that last connection. There is this energy of someone where you will have some sort of spiritual connection with them. You may even dream about this person before you encounter them or connect with them, but this is someone who will be very compatible with you because you also have the Three of Pentacles. There's something about this person, you guys will be in alignment, you're looking for the same thing. Um, you can build something quite solid and um, you can work together to build a long lasting kind of relationship. This is someone who's very commitment oriented. So they, they are showing up as that King of Pentacles type of person here. And with the Knight of Wands being here, it's like this person could be coming to you very soon. Um, there will be passion. Well, there is also a very grounded energy with the Knight of Wands, there's also a passionate energy. And with the Knight of Wands being here, there is this energy that this person will be the one to make the first move. This person will be the one to pursue you. And they may take you out to some sort of adventurous things, or this person is just, um, they will make you feel passionate about them. There's this energy of, um, there will be compatibility in many areas. Um, but this is also going to be a balanced and harmonious connection with the temperance being there. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Virgo. God says don't let your past hold you back south node okay so definitely there's something in your past something you need to let go of something you will be releasing so that something new can come in okay so i'm going to pull out another card for you virgo is calling in your soulmates your prayers affirmations and visualizations help bring you together so you are calling in your soulmates there is that this next love this next connection will be with someone who it's going to be very spiritual in nature it's going to be deeper than just um you know the physical the flesh the 3d um this is someone it's going to be some sort of a divine union okay so i'm going to pull out another card for you virgo says pink rose grace and sweetness the pursuit of perfection then is the pursuit of light of sweetness and light so there's definitely a contrast you're leaving behind something that was quite dark with the devil being there there's something about that connection having been somewhat of a it's like a spiritual lesson or a stepping stone towards your real um sweetness your your real um person your, your counterpart your divine counterpart and um, there is this energy of you getting closer to that. Okay, so I'm going to pull out some messages from your person, Virgo. up everything I will wait for a sign from you and so many things remind me of you okay so there's definitely something new due to come in for you um, with this I will wait for a sign from you and we have calling in your soulmates it's like you're you're you may be in the process of releasing something someone some sort of attachment where 
the other party recognizes that they messed up in some way they hurt you or the connection just wasn't healthy and there is this acknowledgement from this person that yes um this person isn't able to give you what you need um, they're not able to be there for you in the way that you need them to in a loving connection um, this person could have their own shadows that they need to deal with it could be addictions um, um, toxic attachments it's like this person needs to do shadow work and there is this energy of you can't save this person they have to save themselves so there is this advice of needing to release that toxic attachment because there is something here for you something that's in more in alignment with you a soulmate connection is due to come in for you and there is this energy of needing to close up a chapter with someone who isn't the one so that the one can actually come in and um, there is this energy of um, moving forward so that something new can begin. But this past person, there is this acknowledgement on their side. Um, and this is someone who does have some regrets with the so many things remind me of you. Um, but at the same time, there is also this energy of um, this person, they were a lesson. They, they, they were the, it's like the lesson before the blessing. They were someone who was there to teach you something. And you are being advised to not let your past hold you back you can have compassion for that person but there is something um else for you um but ultimately it's up to you um but there is the energy of your you're in the process of attracting your real soulmate okay so that's what i'm seeing for you virgo i hope you have a really really good day virgo bye virgo